The person who invented the hydraulic system was truly a genius. A liquid can never be compressed, and by taking advantage of this fact, engineers filled a pipe with liquid and placed pistons at both ends. As soon as pressure was applied to the first piston, it moved one inch downward, and the piston on the other side rose one inch upward with the same force. That means not even a bit of power was lost. Later, instead of one pipe, four pipes were connected together. When pressure was applied to the master piston, it went down four inches, and on the other side, all four pistons rose one inch each. In this way, the power was evenly distributed among them. If the sizes of the pistons are changed, some small, some large, only then does this system work. Small pistons move a longer distance, and large pistons move a shorter distance, but the force increases many times. The same principle is used today in car brakes, where the master cylinder is connected to smaller cylinders, so that as soon as pressure is applied on the larger cylinder, the power gets evenly distributed into the smaller cylinders, and this is what is called hydraulic brakes.